Oh, guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Scorched Earth. And I wanted to show you a video that will help you get a ridiculous amount of cementing paste. Now, a lot of people forget that one of the limiting factors on Scorched Earth is cementing paste because you can't just go out and grab a beaver dam whenever you feel like it's necessary. So you've got to do it one of two ways. You either kill a whole bunch of things with chitin or you, you know, get a snail. Now, snails on this map in the caves are actually tameable at absolutely crazy levels. Uh, this one you can see is a level 389 and they're currently tameable. This is on official settings so you can go out and tame these. Now, just so you can see, these are, I mean, I tamed these like 10 seconds ago. All you have to do is go to the cave itself and locate a few of them. Now, the cave that I am currently in is the church cave, I believe is what it's called at 78877. Now I'm gonna go ahead and let these guys be. I don't really care in all honesty, they can they can do whatever they feel like doing and they can have fun with it. Um, so you can actually go the entire length of this cave without seeing a snail sometimes. But for the most part, I think almost every time I've ever been through, I've seen multiple snails. Um, now, there are a few points in this cave where you do have, oh, there's another one right there, perfect. Let me kill those. You can see this one's a 150 perfect tame. All you gotta do is shoot them in the head to knock them out and then shove a sweet vegetable cake inside of them. Now, in some cases or in some areas, you'll notice that it's impossible to tame things that are cave level. However, currently on Scorched Earth, you can tame these Akatinas inside of the caves. Now, it's not like an Akatina being level 400 is going to actually change anything because, well, they have like 700 total health. Uh, the one thing that might be a little bit interesting is a bread Akatina at like level 400 probably can get like I don't know, 10k, 15k health, and they take one damage from turrets. So that might be something interesting in the long run to look into, but you know, it's not a major thing. So you can go into any of the caves and tame any Akatina just by shooting it, and they might nerf this in the future. So definitely get this done as quick as possible. And uh, yeah, you can cave, cave Akatinas are tameable, and anything under I mean, right now, it seems like anything inside of the caves are actually tameable. So just uh, use that to your advantage. But you can go the entire way up this thing. Just have some sweet vegetable cake ready, which you can get on Scorched Earth just by having all the proper stuff. And uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty simple. Um, and you can't usually find them until you get past this like first section. So here's the entrance to the cave. I'm just trying to show you the point that I'm at right now. There you go. This is what it looks like. And I don't think that's a snail right there. That'd be hilarious if it was though. No, it's a vulture. Okay. Um, yeah, but you go to this cave and you can get the uh, inside of it. You get a whole bunch of snails. And I'll go ahead. Is that a snail? Okay, I was about to say how to get out there. Um, but I'll go ahead and go back down just so you can see this thing actually tame out. So I'm not, you know, just messing with you. But uh, you saw on the actual awesome spyglass that currently the settings on official servers are these things can actually be tamed. Just do it 180 there in order to actually get down to where I was trying to go. Oh my goodness, this is a lot further than I remember it being. Uh, but oh well. Did, did I go right? Is that what I did there? Where'd he go? Where did, did I? I think I may have messed up. Is he way up there? Did I mess up? I think I messed up. Yeah, they're above me, aren't they? Man, what in the? I think I'm going crazy. I can't figure out where I am right now. My brain is not working properly. Where is the Akatina? Maybe I went the wrong way. Who knows? But anyways, you get the point. Uh, it will tame out pretty quick. Um, as long as I am inside this cave, I might as well look for another one just to prove a point because they are pretty easy to tame. Oh, there's another one right there. Um, I'm going to go ahead and kill everything around it. And uh, really, Oop, that was not what I meant to do. But I can go down to Let's just go ghost mode. Because at this point, I'm just I'm just messing with it at this point. This is crazy. All right. So I can also just go into my thing, find my things that I'm taming. It may have gotten killed, actually. But yeah, so as long as you stand near it, you won't have to worry about it getting killed. But obviously, you can see that my tames have been tamed out. It is a doable thing. So each one will produce approximately 100 every 30 minutes. So if you get like 10, 20 of them, you will never need cementing paste again. So this cave is my favorite one to go to. It's a little bit of a dangerous cave, so just be aware of that. But it is also a very simple to run cave. So definitely use it and get a whole bunch of stuff. So hope this video helps you out. And other than that, teach.